Hello guys, how are you? And uh, today I am starting a new concept uh, to discuss. So we will discuss on gravitational acceleration. Gravitational acceleration, also called as small g. Okay, so I uploaded a video earlier regarding this topic, and uh, the video quality was not so good. So I decided to make it again, and uh, yeah, let's discuss on this. So during my school days, I was always fascinated about like why the bodies which are having the same mass they fall. at the same gravitational acceleration or they reach at the ground at the same time suppose you throw a ball or you throw a feather okay in a vacuum so they both will reach at the ground at the same time it doesn't matter what the mass of the object is so why does that happen so what is the physics involved behind that so let's try to understand that so there are two equations uh, we all are familiar with these two equations one is f is equal to m cross a this is the newton second law and the other equation is f is equal to gravitational constant g into product of the two masses or two bodies divided by r square so so the two equations are f is equal to m a and uh, f is equal to f into m1 m2 over r square now let's try to understand these two equations over here in this equation what it state is that force between the two bodies is directly proportional to the product of mass and the square inversely proportional to the square of distance between them so consider two bodies okay this one is of mass m1 this one is of mass m2 these are the distance this is the center distance or r so the f is equal to force between net force between these two bodies or the force between these two bodies will be given by this equation now what it states is this body is pulling this body towards it this body is pulling this body towards it so every single body in the universe exert a force on every other body in the universe and the force is equal to product of the masses divided by inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them right so the application of this you will try to explore the application of this suppose consider this this is the surface of earth and there is an apple now this apple is falling towards the surface of the earth so what we see in real world is that the apple fall on the surface of the earth and not the earth moving towards the apple but according to this equation each and every body is exerting a force on other body which is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so why is earth not moving towards the apple so let's try to explore this so here we see here comes the application of newton's second law that force is also equal to mass into acceleration now you might have heard about the term inertia inertia means 
the capability or the ability of a body to maintain its state of rest or motion without the application of any external force suppose a body is in the position of rest so it will maintain its position of rest until or unless some external force is applied to it or if the position is in if the body is moving okay like a car is moving and the surface has no friction road has no friction there is no air resistance the car will never stop okay so until and unless a force external force is applied in the body the position or the state of the body will remain intact so that is what inertia is now what is the role of inertia over here this is suppose the mass of earth is me mass of apple is ma so in this equation we'll see what happens what is the application of this equation over here what is the role of inertia over here now the inertia is to change the position of any body we need to apply some external force this is the law of inertia this is the newton second law so to change the state of this body or earth we require the force which is equal to this to change the position of an apple we require force which is equal to this now ma or me is way greater than ma mass of earth is very very large than mass of apple so to change the position of this body we require a force which is equivalent or greater than this whereas the force which we are applying on this is ma into a which is very very less okay and to change the position of this body we require a force which is ma cross a and this force can be provided by earth because we are seeing here that the me cross a is the force which earth will exert or which we require to change the position of earth right now what this states here is uh resistant to motion so this the resistant to motion of an apple is very less when compared to resistant of motion of earth so earth has maintained its inertia and to break its inertia we have to apply very high force whereas ki whereas in case of apple to break its inertia we only need a small quantity of force which is provided by earth thus we see apple falling towards the earth and not earth moving towards the apple now consider this i replace the apple with sun okay then what happens mass of sun is way greater than mass of earth thus we see earth revolves around the sun and not sun moving towards the earth thus this is the application of this formula or inertia in this case now the other question arises when there are two bodies suppose this is apple and this is a feather okay and this is the surface of earth so both the bodies fell or fall towards the surface of earth with the same acceleration g small g so even an apple fall with an acceleration small g even a feather fall with an acceleration small g the there is a notion in our mind that the body which is having lighter weight should reach the ground earlier then the body uh, which is having lighter weight sorry which is having lighter weight should reach the ground late okay or should the body which is having higher weight should reach the ground earlier now but we don't see this both of the bodies will reach the ground uh, at the same time if we try to perform this experiment in a vacuum because there is no air resistance in that case 
so why this happens so we can understand this so to change the state of an apple you require a force which is equal to product of mass of apple and acceleration to change the state of this you require a force which will be mass of feather into acceleration now we see that both of the bodies fall or reach the ground at the same time so what happens that this body is attracting earth towards this even this body is attracting earth towards this and earth is attracting both of the bodies towards it the amount of force which this body is applying on earth towards it is greater than the amount of force which this body or feather is applying to attract the earth towards it and the earth is applying a force to attract these two bodies so the net force comes out to be the cancellation okay so the force it is trying to attract earth towards it earth is trying to attract towards it and the force is equal to proportional to the product of masses here the same thing happens earth is trying to attract this this feather is trying to attract the earth the force is equal to product of masses product of two masses proportional to the product of two masses so the net thing cancels out each other and the both of the body falls at the same acceleration g now we can understand this mathematically consider this is apple this is feather so we'll try to explore the mathematical equations for them so the force which is required to change the state of an apple let it is ma into a1 a1 is the acceleration with which apple will be falling towards the surface of earth in case of feather we can consider mass as mf and acceleration can be considered as a2 from other equation the force will be me between the two bodies will be me into ma into g over r square where r is the distance between the center of the two bodies now consider these two bodies are placed at the same height so r in both the cases will be same here it will be mf cross m e cross a2 upon r square right now this is the equation we have got for two cases this will be equal to this this will be equal to this equal to the equations so ma cross a1 is equal to me cross ma cross g over r square from here mf cross a2 is equal to mf cross me cross a2 over r square even ma on ma got cancel mf and mf got cancel what is left me g r square m e uh, sorry i'm sorry uh, g it is this one will be g m e g r square so this considers equation 1 consider this equation 2 from equation so from equation 1 and 2 A one is equal to A two. M e g r square. M e g r square. G is a constant, gravitational constant. Its value is similar. R since both the uh, objects are at the same height from the center of the Earth, that's why R will be same in both the cases. M e is the mass of Earth, which is again a constant. when we substitute the value of me g me g now consider this r okay if you want to obtain a value of g so small g is the acceleration which a body experience when it is placed on the surface of earth 
Now these body are placed somewhat higher from the surface of earth. G is the acceleration when the body is placed just above the surface of earth. So if we reduce this r to a value where it is the distance from the center of earth to the surface of the earth. So we know the radius of the earth. If we consider r okay and in that case we will obtain g this a1 will become g and that will be 9.81 meter per second square what that means is the acceleration of a body is changing in one second if I if I see this equation again in one second it will cover 9.81 meter now the acceleration changes 9.8 meter per second square so what this state here is that the acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square so meter per second per second or the velocity Per second the velocity is changing by 9.81 unit ok so per second the velocity changes by 9.81 meter per second so in one second if I s drop a particle I see the velocity so in one second it has covered 9.81 meters so the velocity will be 9.81 meter per second ok if I see that after 2 seconds if I see after 2 seconds, if I know increase the clock, if I increase the time to 2 seconds, then the velocity, since it is increasing 9.8 meter per second, the velocity will be in second case 9.81 plus 9.81, that will be 19.6 meter per second in second case after 2 seconds. Now, here also you can see 9.81 meter per second, and after 2 seconds, the distance covered will be more that will be after 2 seconds how much it will cover it will cover 19.6 meter ok so obviously you multiply it with now the velocity has become 19.6 meter per second so if you calculate in 3 seconds how much so for the third second for the third second the distance covered will be this much plus 19.6 so it will be 19.6 plus 19.6 so somewhere around 38.12 oh sorry 39.2 that will be after 3 seconds so the series goes as this that means the velocity will increase by 9.8 meter per second so this is all about gravitational acceleration so what are the major learnings that every body in the universe is pulling every other body towards it and it is pulled by every other body towards it also we see that the no matter what the mass of the object is if there is no air resistance if there is vacuum both of them will fall at with the same acceleration we know because it is due to inertia and they are attracting each other so they cancel out the force even we saw the mathematical explanation for this then we substituted the value in this equation for r capital g and me and we got what we understood what small g is right so i think this video uh, helps us in understanding what gravitational acceleration is and you may post the uh, any other doubt if you have in the comments thank you